All right, everybody. Welcome back to this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. So last time we left off, just take these real quick. I dropped these earlier. Last time we left off, we just got through into the Boxwood Hotel roof from the Cave of the Abaddon, I believe. Yeah. Went through these buildings. Uh, Ulysses took Eddie, which is the most heartbreaking thing I've probably experienced in this game so far, besides being shot in the head. Lost our companion slash distraction. And now we gotta continue through the marked men infested area. We're heading towards... Well, there's a couple places right now, but Ulysses Temple. When I lost Eddie, I had to uh, put stuff in the chest and make trips back to Hopeville Missile Base. Because I, I had so much stuff on Eddie, I had to sell it all. And then I went on a trip back to Lucky 38 to uh, drop some stuff. Like I had the... Oh, I still didn't put away the Cyberdog gun. I was going to put that away. Well, crap. We'll hold on to it for now. Why not? I feel like this is going to be a pretty tough area. Besides just being like a good companion who has that repair feature. Uh, Eddie also is a good distraction for enemies. So if people are running at you, you can just... I mean, I hate to say it, but he's a bullet sponge. He, he can stay in the front and... Ooh. He can stay in the front and take a lot of bullets while you're uh, picking off bad guys. Kind of hard to do that when he's not there. Take all of you. I'm going to find every Nuka-Cola machine I can. Because I'm going to need the healing pretty bad here soon. Even fridges. I'll take it all. I'm guessing Ulysses Temple is towards that way. I see some missiles up there. Yeah, I was in here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go around the outside of the this whole perimeter. Because if I can get to a good spot, I'll... Uh, oh. They already saw me. Dang it. Oh my god. That sucks. I'm already dead. Probably already dead. Can they get up to me? Oh my god. I didn't realize death claws were here. What in the world? Forget this. Okay, we're gonna let them... Uh, let them forget about me. Go into stealth. And take some headshots on these guys. Hey, chill out. You don't remember that I exist. How did I not see a big freaking head popping out? Okay. Well, take this slow. Take this real slow. Come on. Stop running away. Ah, oh, come on. One more shot on you. Come back around the corner. There. Wow. That was probably the most terrifying moments in recent memory of this game. When those freaking death claws popped their head around that corner. 
what we're gonna do is try to see if I can see any more death claws around here. Maybe around this backside. I climb up here I just want to know if I can pop my head up up, up above the ledge here okay doesn't seem like I can locker what are you nothing okay let's make a save here actually cuz if I pop my head around that corner and there's more death claws Dude, I'm already in caution. That is not good. I gotta get up someplace high. There's obviously more death claws. See if I can vats anything. I see one more head over there. Do I see any else? I'm gonna set off that warhead. Make another save. I don't know what this does. It might just trigger a chain another chain reaction. Am I even reaching it from here? I think I'm too far out of range. Okay, we're gonna try to... Oh, it worked. Oh, it's just marked men. Dang it. Stay still for a second. There. Can I hit this from here yet? Is that even a warhead? It looks like a warhead, but it could just be... Oh, that's definitely a warhead. It's glowing. There we go. Dude, there's 15 more. I definitely missed quite a few of them. I missed quite a few of them throughout this whole playthrough. If there's 15, well, 14 more. How do I get up there? I want to loot those guys. Marked men hunters. Freaking caution already. I don't like that. I feel like death claws are about to pop out. And I really hate death claws. Can I pull out the sniper? 
What in the world was that? Oh my lord. Can I pop into one of these? That's ammo right there. Let's stay sneaking. Flamer fuel. I don't need flamer fuel. I don't even have flamers. Not leave my back turned to them. What? Okay. I hear footsteps. No, I don't want to sleep. I want to... Another marksman. Take the frag grenade too. I'm overweight, I know. <laughs> flare gun. I'm gonna have to drop that spare flare gun though. Frightens abominations. Well, can I scare off a Deathclaw? Because if it can't scare off a Deathclaw, it's kind of pointless. Let's be honest here. I want to use these anti-material rifle, but it's kind of pointless. Like, I have a stealth sniper for a reason. If it's not stealth, I'm going to get absolutely bombarded by enemies. There's a terminal. Danger from what? Take all those. Stealth boys, I forgot they weigh a lot. Drop absinthe. We're just gonna have to play this pretty safe. These all weigh a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to drop something here. What do I have? Nothing to drop there. Bowie knife. What's the difference? DPS 34, damage 9, damage 17, 72. I'll drop the combat knife then. I'd have something that weighs quite a bit. Nothing. Oh, we're going to have to drop this anti-material rifle then. something over there. That's definitely going to be a death claw.
What are you? Besides that freaking running water, which is insanely loud. I mean, there has to be something up here for this to be here. Are you joking? Okay, took him out. Well, if there's a... If that location was a enemy... Okay, you're an enemy as well. Blade. I have something for Blade. If he can't see me yet, I'll, uh... I'll keep shooting him with the sniper. Blade's coming up at me quick, isn't he? Hey, Blade. Let me pick you off with... Let's go Assault Carbine. Where are you going, dude? Unless you're coming straight over here. Dude, what are you running to? Oh, there's another warhead. I might be a little close. Eh, that was fine. Can you get up here now? Oh, you do quite a bit. Okay, let's uh start using aid items because... You know what? Don't I have a riot shotgun still? Not a lot of ammo, but it'll... Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, dang it. Over encumbered. Jesus, everything is... So heavy. Well, actually, I can just eat some made items. I'm only like one pound. Cram. Dog meat. Dirty water. Insta mash. There's a couple pounds off. There's still caution. There must be way more enemies around here. Oh, I see him. Nope. Uh, sniper. I see a shimmer. No, that's just a... Hey, put your head back in that same spot. I'm just going to wait for you to... About right there. How am I missing these? I'm missing every one of these shots. There we go. I don't even think I can get up to him, but I don't care.
Rocket satchel charges. Again, more stuff I don't need. Okay, I'll take all these. Get back below weight. There's 11 more of them. That is tough. There's... There's one, obviously. Ten more. I know there's at least two in the courier's mile. Is there a way down here safely? Or is it just a drop-off? That's just a drop-off. Okay, I'm not going to explore the wastewater treatment or sewage treatment, whatever. I'm going to keep going here. That is very loud. I, I guess there's no death claws around here because, I mean, I say that. I'm going to make a save just in case. But there's obviously going to be enemies. But that dude just came around this corner right here. There's no way there's death claws. Yeah, I didn't think so. How the heck did you just come from behind me? Okay, let's pull out. Uh, that's destroyed. Why did I even pick that up? Assault carbine. That's a freaking minigun. I want that. 25 pounds. Dang it. Well, I'm going to have to eat a lot of stuff to drop that weight. Let's drink... Uh, oh, I have six sunsets. I have plenty of MREs, so I'll just use or drop everything else. Okay. So where are we heading to? I assume you have to go in the building. Oh, is this not it? A duffel bag at least. Another MRE. I guess it must be up top. I have to find my way up there. Guess I should have stayed up there. Make this whole loop again. Dang it. So... I don't... How did I get up here last time?
Well, that saves a lot of time. I have a spare minigun to repair the one I have. Oh, it's five mil, too. I don't have a lot of ammo for that. Okay, so... This is where the blade dude came up. When I set off the nuke, so... I'll take all of these. Okay. Let's then head over this way. Go into the building. Still in caution, so there's more enemies. Let me uh go into stealth. Oh, look at that! You're right in front of me. Dude, freaking throwing grenades, really? Come back at me. You're the melee guy. There's a plasma caster over there. And you're stuck on a wall. I'll take out the dude stuck on the wall. Did he die? Oh, you're not dead. You just freaking, uh, you had your stealth boy, so you disappeared off my map. I was wondering what happened to him. Okay, let me load up on some whatever food I have. Use a super. Uh, one of those lowered my weight. Let's just wait an hour. There, okay. Make a save. I don't know what's going to happen in here. Okay, door to maintenance and storage. Rockets. Level up. Did I level up? That sounded like the level up uh, notification. Oh, dang it. That's one right there. Last one, okay. Disengage lock. Okay, let me pull out 
my lair. So I'm gonna need that. Oh, there is a level up. So 16. Go barter. I don't really need caps at the moment. Let's just keep going. Oh, what else is down bottom now? Is there anything else that I get? Broad daylight. I like that. But I don't need that more than, uh, where is Fortune Finder? That might be useful. That drops quite a bit of weight, actually. Okay, check the lockers. We're gonna have to fight a sentry bot without ED as backup. Making a lot of saves, but you never know how tough a fight could just turn out to be. I hear another one. Must be behind that door. Oh, dang. Wait, is this showing? Yeah, you're in there. I'll be in there in a second. I want to see if any of these, uh... Okay, this door is unlocked now. And then the main corridor must be locked. Yeah, okay. Dang it. How many, uh... Oh, there's turrets? Okay, sentry bot. Locking on. Firing. Okay, let's be careful here. Wow, I hate those ones that shoot rockets. Take out the one that shoots rockets first. That's all that really matters. These guys aren't even that tough. I can tank most of those. Looks like my Edie. Eddie. God dang it. Eddie. There we go. Yep. Piggy bank function, I know what that means. Are you okay? I'm gonna leave you behind. That's what I'm talking about. Anything to loot in here?
Not really. Oh, well, can you open this commissary terminal? Eddie. Open up this terminal. There we go. I don't have a lot to sell, I don't think. Yeah, I pretty much want to keep everything there on me. Yeah. I don't know if there's going to be more robots or not. So let's put out... Mini gun's good, missile launcher's good, red glare's all good. About what I need is assault carbine repaired. There's not a lot of. Wait, no, that's five mil. I'd rather use the. Mi nah. So that's almost full. I'm gonna repair the lair. How much that costs? I mean, I gotta repair that. But where's... Oh, 9,000. Wow. I'll just not use it for the time being until I get back to... Uh, some, like, Lucky 38 or something. Access main corridor. Let's go, Eddie. I can get he healed up a little bit. Elevator to the temple. Here we go. Get to confront Ulysses. That's why I made a save, right? Let me... Yeah, okay. I made a save. Can I access any of these before we go? Nope, all of them require a key. And there is, of course, no keys around here. Wow, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, Bo, can I talk to you? Even in this place, NCR's shadow falls. Or is it just you, Courier, without the bear's corpse to weigh you down? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. No. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The divide. The chip. The machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that intent. If you blame me for the divide, then let me answer it. Answer for it, not that not others. <laughs> Blame you? No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. So what, you intend to bomb the Mojave? No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. 
The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. And knowing that you believe in a bear's sickness and have given it strength, and that gives more reason to lay waste to your homeland. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road, to watch something greater die. I'll turn the long fifteen into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. The Legion are even worse. Words. Are not enough to bear the weight. Dude, I'm trying Speeches to talk you out of this. Please don't do this. I need to know why you're doing this. Not for my sake, for history's sake. The why of it. You taught me the why of it. If you believe in something enough, you must be willing to let it burn, lest it claim you. These governments of the two headed bear, the Legion, they carry old world ideas into an age that no longer needs them, where they cannot live. I'm not talking about NCR or the Legion. I'm talking about our history. Our history. The Divide. That history has been written. Its lessons learned. There's nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth. No more fury to be torn from its sky. You can go home again, Courier. Not a message for me, for you. My home in the East Drywells is no more. It is part of the Legion. The only other home, the chance of a home, was what you built at the Divide. Then you destroyed it. You said a home is a place you breathe life into. A moment where you know who you are. There is truth in that. History has proven it. But Mojave's proof that no homeland is sacred until the larger symbols are destroyed. Whatever is built, the bear, bull, even Vegas, will tear it apart, convert it either with purpose or by accident. The divide survived in you. If it felt like something fighting for, you can rebuild it. Nothing can prevent what comes. The missiles will launch. These questions, your words or mine, what do they matter to you? Which one do I want to say here? I'm betting you have some way to stop this, but... It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people, yet it may not matter. The Divide still stands against us. The Divide? What do you mean? Our enemies gather outside. Shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention 
In case I could not kill you, the Mark men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers together at the divide. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. East and west alike. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Set off that one. Set off that one. I'm just going to set off as many as I can here. How many more are there? Is that all of them in this building? Okay, let's pull out... Is Ulysses okay? That's all that matters. Is Ulysses okay? What's with y'all and plasma grenades? I get it, man. Y'all have plasma weapons. Is there more of them? How many? Is that all of the the warheads? Killings, let them rest. This foreign machine won't help you. This facility will make more. Okay, time for you know, I'm gonna use the 12 7. I didn't realize they used the iBots too. Marked men. Eddie, stay alive. Got you. This 1270 is powerful. Are you okay, Ulysses? If we're done here, let's leave the divide behind. If we get separated, I'll meet you about Hopeville. Near the canyon wreckage. Okay, let's do this. Uh, activate missile launch terminal. Um, I don't want to attack either of those. That's just not a thing to do. Attempt to cancel the launch. Oh, no. That's an option. Ugh, dang it. I'm going to lose ED, ain't I? Eddie. God, I keep on saying ED. The abort code is encrypted with an incredibly advanced pre-war military encryption sequence. You'd have to be a code-breaking robot to crack it in time. Ask Eddie for help. Experiment log 369248-A. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. Initial tests of the override system are promising. Against unsecured or lightly encrypted targets, the iBots have a 98% success rate. More heavily protected systems are still problematic. Military grade encryption presents a very real possibility of critical overload of key systems. We've stopped tests before any robots were destroyed. But if we don't address the problem, our iBots will fry themselves oh, into military networks. Are you saying you can stop this missile? But the log said that this kind of encryption will kill you. If, if you're really sure you want to, you want this. Okay, go ahead and stop the missile. 
and goodbye. Do I have to be running away? No, Ulysses is still here, so obviously I don't have to leave just yet. No, Eddie. Just take these before you. See if that does anything real quick. Okay, those are not the same warheads. Eddie, where did his body go? Run for the canyon wreckage. Okay. Oh crap. Where'd Eddie go? Oh god. This is not. Hopeville burned, lightless in the night. Invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war, never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Well, that was a good ending. The divide broke cities, flayed skin from bone, and threatened to destroy the world. But you survived it, and stopped it. You can put a single point into any of your special attributes. You also gain reputation, reputation with the followers of the Apocalypse and the Brotherhood of Steel for stopping another Armageddon. Well, that isn't going to help too much with the Brotherhood. I am sad to say I don't need luck too much. The main thing I was raising that for was uh, casinos, which I've already done through. Because even with eight, it's way easy. Don't do that. So, I could go strength, allow me to carry more stuff, or intelligence. i go intelligence. I'll level it up as well. Let's get barter all the way up. And then I want to go for... 
I don't know what's the max level in this game. I'm probably not going to reach it anyways. But I'm probably going to go melee weapons. What do you give? Bitter drink. Courier duster. I love that. Old glory. Red glare. Another one. Rocket. Tourniquet. Oh, Ulysses duster. It's even better. Well, I want to see... Uh, Ulysses' final message first. Last tape. Last message. In case you best me. If you're hearing this, you have, through blood or word, this message and all that lies with it. It is for you, Courier. If you want to know the why of things, this world, I've walked a good part of it. I stopped. Only because of you, what you did gave me pause. Long ago, I crossed the Colorado, the first among the Legion to see Hoover Dam in all its glory. An old world wall, yet bridging two sides. And beyond it, a symbol of a two-headed bear. An idea great enough to challenge Kaiser himself. Might kill him taking it, whether he won or lost. The bull needs to fight, needs the challenge. Without it, it falters, dies in the dust. Might be a lesson there, in you and me. Leave the thought behind the message to you. My message is this. The destruction that has been wrought at the Divide, or elsewhere... If you can stop me, it can happen again. It will keep happening. If war doesn't change, men must change. And so must their symbols. Even if it is nothing at all, know what you follow, courier. Just as I followed you to the end, whatever your symbol, carry it on your back. And wear it proudly when you stand at Hoover Dam. Okay, before we end this part, I want to go into the divide here. Actually, I'm not at the right part. Because we still haven't explored the Courier's Mile. Let me put on... I know I have something here. Ulysses Mask. Grab to dis resist plus 50. I lose my regeneration, but I'll have to take it. Because there's I know there's some mini nukes around here somewhere. Or warheads, sorry, not mini nukes. It also seems like there's some marked men. <gasps> Death claws. That's Death Claws. Let's uh make a save right here. That was a good ending. I'm glad I could talk Ulysses out of it. I mean, I, I agree with all of his points. Both the Legion and the NCR are just not uh, fit to survive. No, oh, I want to pick up the canister. But also, like, they, there's innocence involved. Just like what happened at the... Uh, the Divide. It wasn't on purpose by my character, obviously. But innocence also survived. It's not just people making decisions. Oh, is that is that the warhead right there? Can I take out the death claws with the warhead? I need to see if I can get somewhere up high. I'm getting a lot of radiation. I know, I'm getting six rads a second, but... You know what? I have stealth boys. I'm also going to use some rad away, because I have a crap ton of that, I believe. 45. 
and then take a bunch of those. That did not help. Okay. Oh god. I'm about to die. Oh, they didn't come after me. I don't know why that is. So maybe it's because of the stealth boy. They technically can't see me. But let's pull out. We're going to start picking these guys off as best we can. Why are you up on a building? There's one down. Can you not... They can easily get up here. That is not good. Are y'all not fighting each other? Okay. So I'm still technically hidden. Oh, there's so many death claws through here. You know what? We're going to make a save and we're just going to say F it. Stealth boy my way through. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to. I have seven of them. As long as you stay in stealth. I don't think there's any other way. There's no way I'm going to be able to fight through all these death claws. Even with sniping, it's going to take so long. Let's get up someplace high so I can see where this next one's at. Oh, it's right there. S28 to 30. Is there more in here? I hope there is because that means I missed a lot. Well, we're going to... We're going to stealth back to the entrance and I'm going to pause the video and see if I can find the other two. Because I would like to... I would like to get all the... Uh, get all of the mini nukes... Or the warheads detonated. If I can. Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to fight through this whole area. I believe there's only two in this... This area. But I want to find that out first. I don't know. I missed that. Oh, another stealth boy. Yeah, they wanted you to stealth through this. There's no way. What in the world? How did you follow me out? Dude, this 12-7 is legit. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause the video real quick. See if I can find all of the warhead locations. And I'll be right all right, everybody, I'm back. So, I did a little research and I found the last two mines. It's supposed to be in this uh, cave with a death claw named Roar. I'm going to stay hidden right now. Okay, then. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is not good.
That was the loudest sound in human history. Hey, Deathclaw pal. Can you see me? Seems like you can see me. Can I just... Hey, stay still. Go back to your spot, pal. Okay, stealth snipers are apparently the way to go. Oh my god. Oh, cool. You can make it a weapon. I mean, that's worth a lot, but I don't... I don't need that. Oh, 42 pre-war money. Okay, so... There's one up here in the roof. And one to open up the way back out. That was the s scariest, loudest sound known to man when that cave crashed in. There. Warhead Hunter. So, let's fast travel out of here. Back to the canyon wreckage. Exit to the Mojave. So, this is where we're going to end it for this part. We beat Lonesome Road. Well, we've beaten Lonesome Road. Now all we have left is to... I guess I'm going to return to Yes Man first. I assume that's what I do next. I've done with all, all the factions. Got the uh, fixed White Glove Society. Destroyed the Brotherhood. Uh, got the Boomers to help. And I'm just going to ignore the Omertas. They're not interesting to me at all. And then all we have to do after that is go over to Caesar's camp so that I can... Get the chip from Benny. And I don't know what uh, wild card you and what army. If I go ahead and do that. But I got stealth boys out the wazoo for that. So I think we'll start off. Go talk to Yes Man. Inform him my decisions about the factions that I have. And then just go to uh, Caesar's camp. And we're getting close to the end of this game. Okay. This is where I'm going to end it. See you all in the next part. Take care.